This is Sum, and I'm the Principal and Director of Sky Academy, and we're going to continue our um, exploration through the distributive law, or being able to multiply and expand brackets. And this time what we're going to be doing is looking at binomial products. Now a binomial is where you've got two pronumeral expressions added together. So that's called a binomial. And when you've got two of them multiplied together, they're called a binomial product or a binomial expansion. All right. So expanding two binomial products is called a binomial expansion. And so here we've got three up on the board that you'll need to know, and that is x plus m times x plus n gives you x squared plus m plus n uh, in brackets x plus mn. All right. So rather than me repeating it out, it's better for you to, to capture that visually. And then you've got what we call perfect squares. a plus b squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And a minus b squared is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, okay? Now, if you're, if you're like me and you're horrible at re remembering um, formulas and, uh, and rules, then you don't need to worry because there is a method that we are going to use and it's called the FOIL method, right? Um, which you may or may not have heard of, right? FOIL uh, isn't talking about aluminium FOIL or anything like that. Um, what, it's, what it stands for is an acronym where F stands for front, O stands for outside, I stands for inside, and L stands for last. And this is the way it works. When you've got a binomial expansion, and we'll work through the first example here. When you've got a ex binomial expansion, what you're doing is you're taking the first term and multiply it with the front of the other term. So you're multiplying the front two. Then you're multiplying by the outside two. Then you're multiplying by the inside two, and then you're multiplying by the last two and adding them all together. Okay, so let's work that out. So the front two, x times a gives you xa. So we've done the front two. Let's do the last two. x times b is xb, and we multiply them together, and it's xb, and, and because this is a plus and this is a plus, they become it becomes plus x bx. You multiply by the inside two, so you add ya or ay. It's probably better if we write it as ay. And it's probably better if we write this as ax, although it really doesn't matter. Okay, and then the last two, by. All right, and so our binomial expansion becomes ax plus bx plus ay plus by, okay? So basically what you're doing is you're taking this term and multiplying by each of these two terms, and then you're taking this term and multiplying by each of these two terms, okay? And that's how you do any binomial expansion, okay? So let's kind of go through some of these, all right? Uh, shouldn't be too difficult, all right? Uh, but I will go through it just so that we drum the point home, okay? x times x is x squared. Uh, x times 1 is, is just 1x or x. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 1 is 5. We can add them together. x plus 5 gives you 6x plus 5. So the middle two can be added together. Let's do this one. This one's slightly different because you've got negatives, right? So x times x gives you x squared. x times minus 1 gives you minus x. 5 times x, 5x. 5 times minus 1, minus 5. Got it? Add them together, and it gives you x squared plus 4x minus 5. And that's your answer for that one. Got it? All right, let me just separate the answers. Let's do this other side. Now, the reason why I chose this question was because you've got coefficients for the leading term. The leading term is the x term, right? Um, and the other term is called your constant. 
or um, your following term. Alright, um, All right. so let's have a look at this. 6x times x, 6x squared, 6x times mi minus 4, which is minus 24, minus 7 times, so this is minus 7 times x, is minus 7x, minus 7 times minus 4, two negatives make a positive 28. Add them together, 6x squared um, just falls, fall, falls down. I've left out an x with the 6x times negative 4, so that should be x. So minus 24 minus another 7 gives you an even bigger minus number, so it's minus 31x plus 28. Got it? Cool. Now, this is what we call a perfect square. Now, there's two ways of doing this. The first way of doing this is doing it exactly the same way as we did FOIL method. 2A, 2A plus 3 times 2A plus 3. And then just doing it the FOIL method. Right? I'm going to do a slightly different method, which is just substituting this into the formula. Okay? So that's the other method that we could use. But this is exactly the same as that. So let's, let's just substitute into the formula. So basically what we're doing is the first term squared. 2a squared becomes 4a squared. 2a all squared becomes 4a squared. And then it's twice the product of the middle two terms. All right? So 2a times 3 is 6a. Double it becomes plus 12a. And then it becomes the last term squared. 3 squared becomes 9. And if you did it the FOIL method, you will find that you get exactly the same answer. Alright? So, we'll do the second one the same way. We're going to substitute into this formula. First term squared is 4x squared. Last term squared minus 5 squared is plus 25. And then it's the middle two terms multiplied together, which is minus 10, and then doubled. So, it's minus 20x. And that's your answer. Okay? This one here I've kind of kept till lucky last and the reason why I've kept this question till lucky last is because this is another type of special binomial expansion and it's called the difference of two squares. So it's the difference of two squares. So, uh, sorry, uh, wait. it's not the difference of two squares. It will become the difference of two squares but what it is is the sum of a binomial term multiplied by the difference. So we call it the sum by difference. Okay, So we've got a sum multiplied by a difference, okay? Plus multiplied by a minus. And what you get is you get the difference of two squares, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. A squared, A times A is A squared. A times minus B is minus AB. B times A is plus AB. B times B is minus B squared. Now, notice what happens here is that the middle two terms will cancel each other out because they're opposites of each other. These two will cancel each other out. So what you're left with is a squared minus b squared. So what you've got is your front two terms squared minus your last two terms squared. All right? So a sum by difference will result in the difference of two squares. And that is what I want you to understand. So what we've done here is what we call binomial expansions and what will lead into is the opposite. So just like multiplication has an opposite called division, just like addition has an opposite called subtraction, what you'll find is expanding binomials will also have an opposite called um, factorizing. Okay, so the opposite of expanding, which is what we've just done, is factorizing. So in other words, we'll go from this expression, which is called a trinomial, we'll go from trinomials to a binomial product, right? And that's the whole process called trinomial factorization or quadratic, um, or solving quadratics or, or, um, or factorizing quadratics, okay? So thank you very much for watching. And on the next episode, we'll be doing a little bit more expansion before we move into factorization. Thanks for watching.